I'm Kelly and I'm a junior at Mercer Island High School and also chapter president of Best Buddies MI. Hi, I'm Caitlin and I'm a chapter president at Lake Stevens High School. We are here to celebrate the Best Buddies Ambassador Program tonight by highlighting our amazing Washington ambassadors. This program consists of a one-day training where any of our members, regardless of disability status, can be trained in the areas of speech writing, public speaking, and self-advocacy. At the end of the program, they create a speech that reflects their life story and how Best Buddies has affected their lives. Tonight, we will be hearing some of their speeches. The purpose of our ambassador program is to empower our members and help create the next generation of pioneers in the disability rights movement. The training does not end after the ambassador workshop. Once advocates write their speech, Best Buddies helps our ambassadors find opportunities to speak at the local, state, national, and even international level. If you're interested in helping us bring this training to more of our members, please donate by texting BBWA Champion to 76278 or visiting bbwachampion.givesmart.com. We would also like to thank the Adelman family for their generous donation that made this event possible. To hear about her father's new book and her contributions to Best Buddies, I'm happy to introduce their daughter, Devin, as our first speaker. Hey guys, I'm Sean Edelman, better widely known as Devin's dad. I'm an orthopedic surgeon, but I'm also an author. I have several published works. The most recent is a graphic novel called Eximius. Um, I wanted to talk to you because Eximius is sort of my embodiment of what I feel Best Buddies represents to the world. Um, and as a result, I wanted to donate 100% of the profits to all my works through the weekend to make sure that we're supporting Best Buddies in every way we can, both intellectually and financially. So, so do your best to support Best Buddies. Um, as I said, we're doing our best by giving our money and our time and our effort. And as I said, 100% of the profits will go to Best Buddies for all my works, which will be available on the link for Best Buddies. Go to it, Dev. Thanks, Dad. Hi, everyone. My name is Devin Adelman. And I'm 24 years old. And I am part of the UW chapter for Best Buddies Washington as a state ambassador. Also, I am currently on the board as well. The reason why is it's important to me is because I want to be able to share my opinion and to share my life-changing story and have friends who care about me. So, on my journey, I met two friends. I met two friends who became my buddies for life, Molly McCabe and Jillian Cable. They loved me, they accepted me, and they have supported me to everything. So I have decided that I will not compare them. Because friendship is, because friendships should be enjoyed. Because friendship is not a competition. Both Molly and Jillian are truly special to me because they are strong women who can hold their own. They are fearless leaders, and they fight for their dream. I am so blessed to call them my friends and to have them in my life as strong women. Thank you. Thank you so much, Devin, and all of the Adelmans for their con contribution. That match is going to allow for so many more of our members to be changed as catalysts for change in the disability community. For our next speaker, we are fortunate to have Ivanova Smith, another outstanding advocate in the community. Hello, this is Ivanova Smith. I'm a state ambassador for Best Buddies Washington. For many, for many decades, people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and their allies have been fighting for true inclusion. We've been fighting to be able to live in our communities. Uh, this fight is very personal to me. Um, for the first five and a half years of my life, I was segregated. I was isolated away from my friends and family, and it made life really hard. It made things feel really isolating and lonely. It was really hard to make friends growing up. Um, it is very important that people are able to get the support they need to make friendships and get to live in their communities 
We shouldn't be isolated. We shouldn't be segregated. We should not allow the powers that be to do this to us. And we need to fight against it whenever it happens. It is important that we all have the right to be with our friends, to do activities in the community, whether it's virtually or in person. People with, people with IDD and people without shouldn't be isolated from their friends and family. We should get to work together and be together. For many, for many decades, people with IDD were isolated and not allowed to um, have their personal freedoms and autonomy. That is changing because of organizations like Best Buddies that, to, that celebrate true inclusion and will help people build friendships in the community and not um, and do not gatekeep who gets to get that support or not. So it is important that we all fight for the community and for us to be able to go back to our communities. Thank you for supporting Best Buddies. Love it, Ivanova. Thank you for your speech and your extensive advocacy for disability justice. Next up, we have one of our champions this year, Michael Rogers. Hi, everyone. This is Michael. I'm here to talk to you about Best Buddies today. I um, wanted you to know I think it's a great organization. I've been involved in about a year. About a year. Started in uh, early January uh, time frame of last year. And if, uh, the best thing about Best Buddies is it's, it's really real. People that accept you for you and that it sets uh, between people with disabilities and people without disabilities and we can set up really solid friendships. Um, and it's, uh, it's not regarded about what your disability is, it's about your ability and just friendships and uh, leave the, the labels, uh, labels at the door. Um, and it's uh, about breaking um, isolation, especially in this COVID era. So it's very important to be connected and that's one way of doing that through Best Buddies. Uh, we do a lot of things right now because of COVID through uh, online activities, but we will meet again someday. And uh, it's a great organization, so please support them. And uh, I thank you for your continual support. If you haven't got involved yet, please do at uh, bestbuddies.com. Thanks. Awesome, we love it, Michael. Next up, we have one of our champions this year, Ramu. Hi, I'm Ramu Ayer. I work as a job coach and assist people with developmental disabilities to become gainfully employed and thrive in the community. I'm volunteering for Best Buddies and on the Citizens Program, and I'm really enjoying the experience. During the COVID-19 pandemic, people with developmental disabilities are feeling disproportionately isolated. They are struggling with access to services. They have limited access to COVID-19 testing facilities. They are struggling to protect themselves from the coronavirus. And there is also a shortage of direct support professionals. They also face behavioral decompensation due to a lack of structure, and they are facing more and more inequity. Social isolation is increasing America's loneliness epidemic amongst a multitude of other unintended consequences. The mission of Best Buddies is rooted in the power of friendships. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Friendships are the antidote to social isolation. Best Buddies is working with people with developmental disabilities and making them feel connected and feel more hopeful and changing their lives and creating a sense of positivity. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we all need to be together by having friendships so that we can appreciate each other and learn from each other and also have fun. At Best Buddies, we are connected through Zoom and we are doing a lot of different activities, including improv, and 
listening to the symphony and even going to the uh, Museum of Flight uh, on a virtual tour. Join me and I encourage you to join the Best Buddies movement so that you can make a difference in the life of a person with disability through the power of friendship. Thank you. Thank you, Ramu. If you love that speech, you should totally support Ramu's champion campaign by visiting bbwachampion.givesmart.com. Next, we have another ambassador, Hannah Dean. Before I start my speech, I want to say thank you for my friend, Judy, who helped me with my speech in early part of April. You, Judy is my friend. Yeah. Okay, here I go. Hi, my name is Hannah Dean, and I'm going to talk to you today about friendship. Friendship is so important because it makes people happy and help when things are difficult. My first friend and my best friend is my sister, Weezy. She is always there for me and always makes me happy. When I first started school, it was pretty easy to make friends. But when I got older in the middle school and the high school, it was harder to make friends and that made me feel sad. When I started high school, my one of my very good friends went to a different school. I was scared and lonely and it was difficult to go to school. My sister was in best buddies at our high school and she suggested I join too. Best buddy is all about friendship and once I joined everything got better. I met a lot of new friends and that made me feel comfort comfortable and happy. My my buddy and I like to go to the gym, Costco, and school dances together. We also play in a fight track and base basketball. Our unified basketball team play a game against the police officer and fire department. Omar is one of my favorite police officers, and he is one of my friends too. He worked at our high school and is always happy, kind, funny. I like, I like talking with him every day and it makes me feel happy and knowing he's keeping up safe. My friend also trains me on when I play base, base, baseball. I play second base and I always get to home run at every game. Some other fun thing my friend and I have done with Best Buddy is going to Friendship Block, Talent Show, and volunteering at an HP Challenge with my friend Maya. I even met some new friends there, and I got to cook with Gatha Wary and Julia Element. Last summer, I also went to the Best Buddy Leadership Conference with Maya and Ben. It was amazing. We met so many new friends and I still stay in touch with them. Being part of Best Buddy is awesome. I love all of my friends and that makes me so happy. My teacher are also my friends. They make me happy and helping me with things are hard. I know they are always there for me and I still stay in touch with a lot of my teachers. One of my middle school teachers is even doing the 5K week with me. It called the social distance one. We also do, we are doing it together by part. I just moved from Massachusetts to Washington and Best Buddy is still an important part of my life. Moving was hard, but what helped me is talking with my sister and my friend from 
from best buddy message shooting. We text, Snapchat every day and talk to each other on Zoom. And now I am making new friends in Washington too. Because best buddy, I am a positive, outgoing, happy person. I want everybody to have a fun to set up with a good time and help each other when things are tough. tough. Friends are so important. Thank you for listening to my speech. I hope you will all be a friend and make someone life happier. What an amazing speech. Thank you, Hannah. And again, to all of our ambassadors who have contributed their speeches so far tonight. We have just reached the halfway point in our show and with that, we will be briefly turning things over to Erica Brody, the Director of Mission Advancement at Best Buddies Washington, who will explain a little more about how our ambassador program works. Thank you so much, Caitlin and Kelly. As Caitlin mentioned, my name is Erica Brody, and I am the Director of Mission Advancement for Best Buddies here in Washington State. Thank you so much to our ambassadors who have been giving speeches tonight, and thank you to Caitlin and Kelly for hosting. It's been such a fun night. Here in Washington, we live by the motto, nothing about us without us. And so what that means for our Best Buddies programs in Washington is that the voices of our participants are really the voices that lead our work forward. And the Ambassador Program is the true embodiment of that motto and that, uh, that philosophy coming to life. Our ambassador program focuses on training and facilitating workshops focused on leadership development, self-advocacy, and being a champion and a leader in the disability rights movement for both people with and without intellectual and developmental disabilities. So it really also exemplifies uh, what inclusion looks like in practice, people with and without intellectual and developmental disabilities leading together. And furthermore, our ambassadors in Washington are the ones who are leading what our work looks like moving forward. Our ambassadors serve on our advisory board. They lead our trainings with our participants. They lead uh, trainings and presentations with local organizations and companies that we're partnering with. Um, and our ambassadors are truly the voices that are setting our path forward for where we are taking Best Buddies in Washington. It is the ideas and the leadership that comes from our ambassadors that steers the direction that we go and helps us determine how we can make a stronger impact in our community led by the voices of the people that we are serving. So we need your help to expand our ambassador program across the state of Washington and to help expand our impact so that more leaders with and without intellectual and developmental disabilities can be leading the way in making our community a more inclusive place. So if you can, we would love if you could head over to bbwachampion.givesmart.com uh, to support our ambassador program and support our programs in Washington, or you can text bbwachampion to 76278. We're so grateful for your support and we are so grateful that you're joining us tonight and hearing from our amazing Best Buddies ambassadors. And uh, I hope you have a great night. So back to you, Caitlin and Kelly, and I can't wait to hear the rest of our ambassador speeches. Last but certainly not least, we have our final talk from Mia Crump. Hi, my name is Mia Crump and I am the champion of the year, which is awesome, right? When I went to ambassador training, I got to know brand new people. I also got to advocate people with all abilities. Reasonable Buddies do weekly reoccurring Zoom meetings to connect with our reasonable friends, which I really love doing. I also love hanging out with my buddy Mary. We went to, we both we both watched a holiday movie together at her place. Best Buddy started at Roosevelt High School. I've learned so many things throughout Best Buddies, like really good listening skills 
and praising them when they finish their speech, when they're nervous. Here's a little bit about myself. I love playing the piano. I love to play music. I'm half American and Japanese. I love to clean. I love advocating people so they can be less scared about themselves. And, and I like to help and support them. I'm really excited to be an ambassador and speak to the public about this boys. Please donate. Thanks, Mia. Next, I would love to bring back all of our ambassadors to do a quick panel. If there are any questions you viewers would like to ask our ambassadors, please put them in the chat and we will answer them at the end. If you want to see our panel, head to Best Buddies Washington's Facebook page. And if you're interested in helping us train more ambassadors, don't forget to donate by texting BBWA Champion to 76278 or visiting bbwachampion.givesmart.com. And if you love our program and want to start your own chapter, email Erica Brody at bestbuddies.org to get more information. Thank you so much for coming, everybody.